<laughs> success kits. So whenever new people join, you know, we send them a bunch of fun stuff like a lacrosse ball, um, jump rope, poster, so you know what to do with the lacrosse ball, snacks. Played basketball for years, and then played baseball since t-ball all through college. Uh, well, growing up, I played softball, basketball, and then once I got to high school, I decided that I didn't want to play softball anymore. So I did two seasons, soccer and basketball, and then uh, one year, my mom wanted me to play lacrosse, so I played, uh, went on to college, played basketball. Didn't play my senior year with my clinical hours. It was it was a lot. So I focused on school because I wasn't going to the WNBA. Back in high school, I played a lot of soccer and a lot of volleyball. Um, but once you get out of school, it's like getting 12 people to play a game is impossible, you know? So I took up a lot of adventure sports, I guess you call them. Just stuff you can do by yourself, snowboarding, surfing, um, rock climbing, like all that kind of stuff. Soccer. Basketball, softball, field hockey, volleyball. I did gymnastics for a little bit, but I didn't. I didn't continue with that because I couldn't wear my swishy pants. There wasn't a lot of flexibility in the swishy pants. Those ones. You guys know about swishy pants. Yes, everyone knows about swishy pants. Johnny doesn't. and then you graduate or you move on to college and you stop doing anything and you're looking for that competitive edge. You know, I needed like that team atmosphere kind of thing, that family. So quickly realized that like a lot of the things I did growing up um, translated into the movements that we do here. CrossFit's helps out with all like the sports that I do. Um, just like the wide variety stuff that we do. Balance work, strength work, conditioning work, you know, makes me feel like ready to go whenever I'm hiking or doing whatever. I've been a rock climber for a while and like I never have any grip problems when we're doing barbell work or pull-ups like people are always saying like their hands hurt like I like don't even notice that. Grip strength is pretty good just from baseball between throwing I wasn't much of it I didn't really hit much because I was a pitcher but core is pretty is relatively strong. Shoulder stability is pretty good but not great because of pitching. In high school, in the summer, we, we were required to lift um, for soccer. Getting a 100-pound bench press was like the hardest thing in the world, but now it's like not too much for me nowadays, so. Had I been doing CrossFit while I was playing volleyball, I think I would have been a thousand times better, and I probably wouldn't have hurt my back. Yeah, having that, that background in sports definitely you know, contributes to, to how well I, I do here. and. Um, as a coach, it, you know, these guys are, are on my roster, they're my teammates, so it's kind of, kind of translates into that world that, you know, we're all in this together, we're all doing it together. You might not be doing the same things that everyone else is doing, but, um, you know, it's that, that family or team atmosphere, um, which is why we break it down at the end, like, go team kind of a thing, but to anyone that's out there that plays sports, um, I would definitely tell them to get their, uh, their butt in gear to uh, if they want to play college sports especially to get a head start on that and um, you'll definitely see some some changes in your game. Uh, we're doing a contest next week too, so make sure that you like, subscribe, share, and comment on the video and you're entered in to win an Amazon gift card.